always been curious about the existence of extraterrestrial beings. We have books and movies that attempt to illustrate what life might be like on a different planet, in a different galaxy. We have groups and communities that dedicate their time trying to make contact with some creature outside of Earth. And all this curiosity goes back to that basic question. Is there life outside of Earth? Is there life on a different planet, like Mars perhaps? One that is very similar to Earth in some ways, and that is currently being researched closely by scientists. Today I will inform you of the discoveries made concerning Mars, and we will discuss the idea of life on Mars. First, we need to define the term life. What does it mean to be a living organism? We will then need to compare the conditions on Earth and on Mars, and from there we will deduce the possibility of life currently or even previously existing. Uh, existing on Mars. Now you're probably wondering, why should I care? Mars is some planet in the galaxy, it doesn't really have a direct effect on my life. And that's a really good question, and that's a question that is currently affecting our space exploration, or lack thereof. And the thing is, if we do discover life somewhere out there in the galaxy, it's going to cause us to reevaluate what we know about our solar system is going to cause us to question what we know about life in general. Now before we question our existence, let's first define the term life. Everybody has their own philosophy of what life is, what it means to be living, but scientists have compiled a list of traits that they believe all living organisms share, some of which include the need to take in energy, the need to reproduce, and the need to adapt to the environment. So far, the only proof of life we have is here on Earth. So what is it about Earth that makes it so special? What makes it habitable? The first thing you'll notice about Earth is the vast amount of water, which is incredibly vital to life. And it can't just be any form of water, it has to be its liquid form. Another thing you'll notice is the atmosphere. Earth, Earth's atmosphere is really thick and it's very stable, which provides us oxygen to breathe and regulates our temperature so that it is neither too hot nor too cold. Now that we've looked at Earth, let's look at Mars. According to Steven Squiler, an astronomy professor at Cornell University, we know that Mars does have an atmosphere. However, it's very thin and it's also very unstable. In terms of temperature, the way Mars is tilted on its axis causes it to have very extreme temperatures, very extreme seasons. And in terms of water, we know that Mars does have water in its polar ice caps. However, this is ice water, and as I have previously stated, living organisms need liquid water to survive. Now, as you can see, these conditions are very harsh. Humans would not be able to live in these conditions. But scientists have not ruled out the possibility of other organisms. Living organisms that have proven in its past to be able to survive these harsh conditions. Of course, I'm talking about microbes and bacteria, very simple, very primitive forms of life. And one of the discoveries that suggest the possibility of this is the discovery of methane gas in Mars' atmosphere. Now, methane gas is something that can be produced purely by geological processes, such as volcanic eruptions. However, it is important to remember that methane gas can also be produced by living organisms. And in fact, according to Dr. Pilcher, the director of NASA's Astrobiological Institute, on Earth, way before humans ever existed, much of the methane gas in Earth's atmosphere came from microbes, one of the earliest life forms on Earth. Now, another discovery that has scientists very excited is the discovery of grooves in Mars's surface, in and around its craters. And the reason why they're so excited is because this is something we find on Earth as well in dried up riverbeds, which leads scientists to believe that at some point in Mars' history, it might have had liquid water. And we know that Mars' environment millions of years ago is drastically different than what it is now. And it is possible that that environment may be able to sustain liquid water. So today, we have covered what life is. We have looked at the conditions on Earth and Mars, and we have come to the conclusion that life on Mars is possible. And perhaps one day, we will discover that these books and these movies that we create have more to come of truth to them.